Hi everybody, happy Saturday. It's me and Barbara. Barb. Yeah. Live from Miguel's crib. The castle. <laughs> my castle. <laughs> <laughs> She's my queen, by the way. And he's my king, by the way. Uh huh, cool. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, we're here together uh, tonight, uh, pretending that today is Saturday Night Live. And we are listening to music, etc., etc., having a great time. So it's uh, almost 10 o'clock, can you believe it? Saturday night, just staying home. Anyway, um, we have a glorious day to, to this to today. It was so beautiful outside, sunny, sunny day, beautiful. Um, so we have a, a new tradition now in 2021. Uh, we get on our e-bike. <laughs> mm -hmm. And we get around the city on Saturdays or Sundays. We go to events, shopping, grocery shopping, um, lockdown rules, right? right? Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> uh, anyhow, uh, today there was a rally organized by friends, um, and we um, we have a, a special message for everybody. The, the reason we attended, because this is what we believe, that mental health does matter. This lockdown is, has been very hard on people with disabilities, especially with mental. Um, we, has, we have heard horror story, stories about people's su suicides. I, yesterday. Yeah, I for one, I, I have a mental breakdown in 2020. Um, I'm glad to be alive. Um, I ask for help, I reach out for help. So here I am, 20, 2021, uh, alive and well. Um, leaving behind 2020, whatever, uh, moving forward. Uh, so today's event was organized by this group, of people that believe that lockdown has been very hard on Ontarians. Specifically, the closure of the gyms, the closure of the community centers, the pools, places where the people go for their mental health, you know, and for their body health as well, mm -hmm. you know. And with this closure, um, a lot of business, small businesses has been really affected by the closure, in particularly the, the bars and restaurants. Hi, Linsmore. Hi, Rockpile. <laughs> and the Crossroads Authentic Greek Food Restaurant. We, we love miss them. you. Uh, we, we love you. We miss you, all the good friends over there. Mm. We miss you really big time. And we, and uh, we hope you see this video tonight and maybe uh, bring a little joy. It's cold, damn it. Look at Barbara, she has a blanket on top because it's very cold. Yeah. Really cold. Uh, what time is it? Uh, we're trying to entertain ourselves because we're fucking bored shit. Yeah, we're bored, to, we're bored yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're doing this because we didn't- We're entertaining like, each other. Yeah, what else we can do, right? <laughs> Nobody wants to hang out with us because, oh my God, I'm going to get COVID. So, nobody wants, you know, to mingle, socialize. Yeah, we have to respect that. Well, yeah, yeah. But, you know, I, like, I think a lot of people are taking too, too, too serious. Mm -hmm. They're getting too paranoid about it. You know, like, mm -hmm. well, let's hope we return back to normal soon. And we can enjoy ourselves, live music. No, no, never no, 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 be normal. No, normal, no, normal, no, 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 never. Uh, we, are, we are where we are, and that's we are the happy couple of Regent Park. Yeah. So, activist super couple? Rock and roll couple. couple. <laughs> People that, uh, uh, lovers that protest and rock together, stay together. Stay together. Exactly. That's yeah. the message. Yeah. Right, right on. And protest together. And protest together. That's right. We have, we went. Um, we have a uh, interesting march. We follow the guys around uh, Yorkville, Jappyville. <laughs> Funny thing. <laughs> and we decided to go for coffee. Um, and it was really cold. And when we come back, they were gone. <laughs> <laughs> we lost them. We lost them. <laughs> We went around downtown, we went to Nathan Phillips Square, maybe they went Dundas, to see Dundas Square. Square, oh my god. Please there, please there. Oh my god, Dundas Square, 
it, it was horrible to see just surrounded by police officers. Yeah, all around down that square. All around down the square, blocking people from Enter using out. a public space, paying mm -hmm. your taxes. And today there was over policing, as usual. People don't understand that the cost of policing affects other services in the city. Um, yes. We are right now debating a city council, the city budget for 2021. Uh, we belong to an organization that every Sunday we go to Yen and Young in Eglinton uh, demanding for um, a reduction of the police services budget. Here we are. This is, this is our demands. We're asking the city council to reduce the police budget to 50% and the funds be transferred to community agencies, black and indigenous communities. Right. And white poor and yellow yes. uh, people as well. Yeah. So we want to invest in the poor because one of the roots of violence is poverty as we know it. Here in Region Park, 40% live in poverty and that shouldn't be that way. Mm -hmm. we, should, we should be able to, um, to improve the lifestyle of people, the, the, the well being, because you know, it's one of the reasons that I am motivated to fight with Barbara together. Mm -hmm. and. We went to visit today police headquarters. <laughs> <laughs> Two of them. Two. Yeah. We, we delivered a message to police headquarters. And then the later we went to 51 Division with the same message. That mm -hmm. Barbara, can you hold it again, please, for those who, don't, who are seeing us for the first time? Yeah. So we, I know Councilor Kristen Montan, you rock. You rock. So keep it up. This is not to, to criticize you, but to say we support you. Christian Montan, keep it up at City Council during budget uh, consultations this month and the next. So when we go back to Council, people will understand the meaning of the, uh, diverting, defunding, not abolishing the police. We need the police for certain things, but they cost too much to Toronto taxpayers. And you know, we have to be fair with people that because of the COVID, because of the COVID pandemic, a lot of people have been um, uh, evicted from their homes. Thank you to the government of Ontario, Doc Four, who decided to conduct evictions even though we are living in a crisis uh, and he has no heart for the poor people. Good news, we stopped the foundry uh, in here in, 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 in Ward 13. Thank you, Christine Montan. Thank you. Thank you, Susie Morrison. Thank you, Paul, our enemy Paul, for all the good people that fought for us and ensure that uh, the foundry um, demolition gets halted until therefore show us show us the plans are you really are going to build affordable housing come on we don't trust you now get real get real dude don't lie we're not stupid no we're rockers but we're not stupid <laughs> <laughs> so Tonight we have a selection, we, one music selection that I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah. And let's go back to the 80s, the best time of my life and everybody's life. Mm. Um, this is a rock band called um, Twisted Sister and probably your family. Wager! Will... I carry Check that M16 and yo, you carry that, that, that guitar. Who are you? Where do you come from? I wanna rock. I wanna rock. Anymore, no more bullshit. <laughs>
Can you just like music on? So that was Twisted Sister with the classic, We Are Not Gonna Take It Anymore. My favorite song. Yeah, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, it's not Barbara's favorite, but I think it was an appropriate song about because what happened yeah. today, mm -hmm. you know, the rallies, uh, why, you know, it's important to keep a democracy alive. Uh, we should not be afraid. <sighs> Stand up. Yeah, stand up. You know, it's it's cool to disagree. All right. And it's um, cool. I just yes. want to make some. I just want to uh, um, um, break a uh, misunderstanding uh, that is is going on out there. So I am a center left activist forever, and so is Barbara. Uh, and we are not right wing people, uh, but our friends maybe they are, especially those who you know. Like us, you know, they like to go to heavy metal concerts and rock and roll events, you know, when we get together. And who knows? They are still our friends. And They're still our matter. friends. Right? They, they could be, you know, contractors, uh, construction workers. Mm -hmm. They could be, I don't know, law enforcement. I don't know. Uh, they could be professional doctors, lawyers, animal lovers, activists. Who knows? Um, bikers. <laughs> uh, sorry. Um, we don't know who they are. Um, we don't care. Really, don't care. It's just uh, we love. We love heavy metal. We love rock and roll, and that's all it matters. Uh, and 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 um, there's a lot of, of liberals that attend those those events mm -hmm. that are you know uh, unhappy with the what has happened to to, to them. Yeah. You know, small businesses. How is it possible that in Ontario we allow big boxes companies to be open during the pandemic? Only them, just them. A hundred, two thousand people can go into Walmart and fill it up. There's the joint, you know, and nothing's going on. No pandemic, no infections. Mm -hmm. So also, what what has happened in Canada is is called the second genocide. It's called the genocide. Um, we have laid down our seniors big time. You know why? Because liberals and conservatives they both cut funds to those places. And they were jammed, senior citizens, veterans that serve this country in, in one um, room, up to four beds, 
four beds in one room in those long-term care homes and retirement places. Why? Because if you want to have your own unit, you have to pay extra money, right? Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the money, if you are you know, poor like us, you know, we ended up, who knows, in a senior home, and we are on ODSP, uh, most likely they're gonna put us in a bedroom with four other beds, <laughs> to share the space with four other people, right? And that is what happened, and the truth, you know, that's how fast the, the infection spread out in the long-term care homes and uh, retirement homes, that's the truth. And also in our jails um, and shelters, okay. homeless shelters. So, in closing, <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to bore you today. Well, no, no, he could talk all night long about I, this. I think I could be a politician. Oh, God. <laughs> so, it's, um, it's me and ba Miguel and Barbara, or Barbara and Miguel, saying good night and have fun tonight. Enjoy yourselves, and uh, we hope to see you soon out there again. And peace, love, and um, um, until then. Bye. Rock on. Rock on. Yeah.